Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those that do not know, my name is Adeze Adwaka and I'm from Anambra State, Nigeria. Now in Nigeria, we have three major ethnic groups, Igbo, Yoruba and Aosa, and I'm from the Igbo tribe. Now one thing I love about being Igbo is our delicious, tasty, spicy Igbo daily cases. Now, before I get right into the topic that I want to talk about today, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you see when I drop new videos. Now today I'm going to be sharing the tastiest, the most delicious Igbo delicacies that I love. I'm going to be starting with what we call okba in Igbo language. Now, okba is made from bambara flour, and bambara flour is gotten from bambara nuts. Now, when you get the flour, you mix it with water, palm oil, little seasoning, salt, and you can also cook it using nylon bags or leaves, and you know, it still comes out so, so nice. Now, the best time to enjoy your okba is in the morning, eh? When it is still very, very hot, when smoke is coming out of it. I miss, I miss growing up so much. Growing up, we just had it as breakfast and then you can enjoy your while with very chilled cook. Maybe if you want to take it during the afternoon time or in the night or even in the morning, you can take it with chilled Coke or Pepsi or you can take it with pap. You can also enjoy your while with hot tea. But me personally, I like to enjoy your while in the morning, like breakfast time when it's still very, very hot. So I can take it with hot tea, eh? That's the best time to enjoy, trust me. Next up is abacha. This happens to be one of my favorite meals. Everybody knows this. My friends know I love abacha so much. My family knows, but they've given up on me because I can eat abacha every day, every day of, every day, in fact, every day, not even every day of the week. Every day I enjoy abacha so, so much. Now, abacha is made from cassava that is peeled and dried and is prepared using a spicy oil sauce. You can enjoy abacha with any form of protein, turkey, chicken, beef, but I personally love to enjoy my abacha with fish, like fried fish, eh? fried better better fish eh? <laughs> or smoked fish, any form of fish. I love to enjoy my own abacha with fish. And also you can also take it down or step it down with any form of drink, alcohol, palm wine. I, I forgot to add palm wine. If you want to enjoy our bacha very, very well, eh? download it. If I step it down with palm wine, that's when you enjoy our bacha very well. Just have one bottle by your side, a bacha by your right. Your day is made. Ah, God. I feel like going back to the east. I feel like going back to the village. Eh? I'm not from Enugu. You know, Enugu people enjoy our bacha so much. Like, they are the ones that are known for you know, preparing abacha and eating abacha. But I grew up in Enugu, but I'm from Anambra State. And I guess that's why I enjoy abacha so, so much. Next stop is ukwa. Hmm. Ukwa is also called breadfruits in Igbo. Now you cannot come to any event in Igbo land and you're just being served ukwa just like that. No, it's a luxury delicacy. Like you cannot just serve it to anybody. You serve it to very, very important people or very, very special people in the society that come for your events. So if you are not a VIP or VVIP, my dear, Ukwa might not get to your hand in any wedding or any occasion you attend in Igbo land. So it is mostly served to very, very important people at occasions. Now, Ukwa is also called breadfruit in English language and you can prepare it with any form of protein, any form of protein. Now, ukwa on its own is very, very rich in protein and it's also very, very expensive. And that is why it is being served in very, very small portions at events because, I mean, it is very expensive and it is very rare to find. So you don't just serve ukwa anyhow, you don't just serve it anyhow, <laughs> you know. It is served in very, very, very small portions and you can also step it down with any drink of your choice. Guys, this topic, hmm? made me go order ukwa. <laughs> you know, I took a short break to go and order ukwa because I haven't eaten ukwa in a very, very long time. So guys, please let me just enjoy this one small, then we'll continue with the video. Mm? Mm, yeah, it is small. <laughs> we'll continue with the video. Mm. Mm -mm. This is so nice. So guys, this is what ukwa looks like. Yes, you can see this is what ukwa looks like. 
I'm having it with fish. Mm. So tasty. Next on the list is Ofe Onubo. Ofe Onubo is also called bitter leaf soup. Now, Ofe means soup. Now, Onubo means bitter leaf. So, bitter leaf soup. Ofe Onubo. Now, it's one of the typical delicacies in Igbo land, especially in Anambra State. If you go to any event in Anambra State, there must be Onubo soup. Even if there's uh, no other food there, Onubo soup must be present at that event. Now you can enjoy um, Onubo soup with any form of swallow. Pando yam, fufu, gari, eba, whatever it is, you can enjoy Onubo soup with any form of swallow. Now next up is Isiewu. Isiewu is also a luxury delicacy in Igbo land. It's not just served anyhow, you know, you need to go to a very, very expensive or luxury restaurant to be able to enjoy or be served Isiewu. Now, Isi means head, Ewu means goat. So typically it's called goat head or goat head sauce. Because, I mean, you can't just eat it dry like that. It's, you know, prepared and garnished. Now, it is typically served in wooden mortars and it is garnished with onion, raw onion and mutazi. I don't know how to explain this here, but it is really, really, really tasty. And also it is very, very spicy. You know, for you to enjoy it, it needs to be really, really spicy. Wash your hand in a bowl and use your fingers or your hands and eat it. This, you don't use cutlery here. It's not a spoon and fork <laughs> or delicacy. You use your hand and eat it. And that's the way you're going to enjoy it. You can step it down or eat it with any form of drink. But a lot of people in Igbo land use beer or palm wine. That's if you really want to enjoy it, just step it down with palm wine or beer. Now, next up is achichaede. Now, achichaede is known among, you know, or mostly eaten by the people of Enugu State, Nigeria. Now, if you want to enjoy achichaede, just prepare it with a lot of vegetables. Now, achichaede is cocoyam pottage prepared with cocoyam flakes and you know a lot of vegetables in it now it's also a very very core traditional Igbo delicacy you don't just see achichede anyhow you just can't walk into a restaurant and they will serve you achichede it's very very traditional and also very rich and you know you don't just see it or eat it anyhow it is also very very nutritional now last but not the least of my favorite Igbo delicacies will be unkobi <laughs> the name alone would tell you how nutritious and how yummy it is and that's why I saved the best for last a lot of people confuse unkobi and isiewu because they are prepared with almost the same you know kind of sauce and served in the same way I mean you use your hand you know to eat it and it's also served in um, a mortar so a lot of people tend to confuse it but now the difference between unkobi and isiewu is unkobi is made from you know cow food back in the day people used you know different kinds of you know protein to make unkobi even as i'm talking to you right now you can make unkobi using chicken or any form of protein to be honest now unkobi is an evening meal just the same as isiewu you hardly see people eat it you know in the morning or in the afternoon people mostly eat it in the evening or at night it is very nutritious very tasty and spicy don't forget we like pepper in Newfoundland, especially for Nkobi and Isie, we have to have a lot of pepper, and that's how you're going to enjoy it. Now, these are my favorite Iwo meals so far. I know there are 1,001 others out there. Now, tell me, what is your favorite Iwo meal? Drop it down in the comment section, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button down below. I'm still your girl, Adeze Adwaka, your favorite Igbo and Nambra girl. Do have a lovely day. Bye.